All right, before I get started, I just want to say this is not a normal YouTube tutorial kind of video. I'm just talking out loud here, processing out loud. I'm not trying to get to the solution as fast as possible. I'm sure you'll be able to find the solution just by looking down there at the, I don't even know what that's called on YouTube, that playback line that like shows the spikes, most replayed section of the video, uh, which by the way, I changed my mind. I am actually gonna be more helpful with this. The solution to this is about at 450. Everything before 450 is just kind of explaining how things work. So if you like to have an understanding of what's actually happening within Premiere, specifically this whole offline Mogret situation, uh, at least my best understanding of what's happening in Premiere, you can watch up to that point. If you want to skip ahead, that's fine. I don't care. I'm just doing this to help somebody out. So don't at me in the comments, but if you do, I don't care. I don't care. Also for my own sanity, for when I forget how to fix this, I need to go back and watch my own video. <laughs> I'm doing it for that too. So uh, this might not be the most efficient video, but uh, hopefully it helps. Okay, hey everybody, or hey all three of you that have this problem, but seemingly nobody else on the internet has ever had this problem. If you're trying to relink Mogrits that have gone offline for whatever reason, and you just like can't get them to go back online because it gives you this like crazy file path so, so I'll, say, I'll show you what happens so I'm going to right click on this go to link media and you can see it says here link media for these clips documents Adobe blah 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 motion graphics template and then it has this like super long uh, name we'll hit locate we can see what that looks like so it's got this random string of letters and numbers right and you go to documents you go down to motion graphics template media and that string is not there, right? You, you might have other ones or you might have it completely empty. What happened with me is I decided to just like completely clear out all Adobe programs in order to, this is a long story, but basically to get InDesign to open up without crashing on launch and also to get Adobe Media Encoder to uh, stop going so slow for whatever godforsaken reason that was happening too. Just videos that normally would go very quickly were now taking like three or four times as long. Um, and that worked, rooting out everything Adobe and then reinstalling it, including Creative Cloud, did work. But what that did is it destroyed all of my Mogerts, even if I made backups of them. So, okay. Now I'm gonna explain how Mogerts work or how they're stored inside of your computer. So basically, where are your Mogerts actually stored? They, even though it, it says it needs the link back to documents, documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro 2024, motion graphic templates, this is not where your Mogerts are actually stored. This is like, I don't even really know, like a temporary version of them? It's not even temporary because it like generates the same string every time. But anyway, this is not where you want to be. So instead, we would want to go to app data. So this PC, local disk, users, Joel, uh, app data, roaming, Adobe, common, uh, motion graphic templates. This is where they are. Okay. So here's, here's the file path if, in case you just want to follow that. Uh, not through all my clicking. I'm not going to edit this because honestly, if this is helpful to you, you will, you'll watch <laughs> any length of video <laughs> to get the information you need. <laughs> and the bar is pretty low for troubleshooting this. Anyway, this is where the Mogrits are stored, but when you go from Premiere and you drag it from Essential Graphics down onto a timeline, that's when it gets moved, not moved, but you know, like a copy of them gets put into uh, your documents folder, right? With this super long string of letters and numbers. So I open this up and I see, okay, there's one on my, one type, typography text animation, a one dot AE graphic, no longer dot Mogert, no longer dot Mogert. And just dragging and dropping this onto the timeline also does not work. It doesn't, I've tried that. Um, it will, it will like appear, but it won't be editable as a Mogert. So super weird, I don't really know. That's just my best understanding of how this whole Mogert situation works. Okay, so now anyway, how to fix it. This one is offline, energy three. 
So what I need to do is I need to, this is my main project where things are offline and I'm trying to fix it, right? Okay, what I need to do is make a new project. We're just gonna call this Mogert Fix 2. Uh, hit create. Okay, we'll just add in some random media here. We'll create a new sequence from it. So, you know, bear in mind that I have two projects open right now. I have my main project, then I have this like Mogert Fix project open. Because you, you have to open up a different project then go find what Mogert is offline. So what was it? It was energy three. So then I'm gonna go look in essential graphics and I'm gonna sort by sort by title because otherwise this is a just massive dumpster dive. It still kind of is even if it's sorted by title. And I'm looking for energy three. Energy three. Here we go, here it is. Okay, now, some people will say how to fix this, just you drag, you hold down Alt, and then you hover over the media that's offline. That does not work for me. So I'm not even gonna try it because it just causes problems. It actually makes this permanently unusable within this project. <laughs> it makes a new version. So if I even if I tried to fix this, it didn't get fixed. And then if I tried to drag Energy 3 out here onto the timeline, it like, makes it offline because this old one is offline. Anyway, super frustrating. So again, how to fix it. Okay, go here, go to your new project, this random sequence that we have open, drag in energy three, and look, it works. Great, awesome, stupid Mogur, but I used it anyway. And then you would go back to your main project, right click, link media, here we go, hit locate, and it should just be there. Okay, it wasn't there before. It was, for whatever reason, you made it offline. You did something stupid like I did. The documents folder with the motion graphic template media is totally empty, that it's missing. Just by dragging and dropping it into your new fix project, it's right here where it's supposed to be. And it has the exact same string of numbers and letters. I don't know why it does, but it does. So then you just click okay. It puts them back all online. Okay, so let's, now let's watch it to make sure it works. Look at that, it's working, there it is. It's right there. Uh, if you wanna check out my course, it's audio for video. Uh, you can search it uh, once upon a keyframe. <laughs> I can just leave a comment. <laughs> oh God, okay. Well, it's finally done. We're done here. I'm gonna stop recording now. I hope that helped you.